Reality can be often disappointing and agonizing. People tend to fall out and break into pieces of the harsh truth of reality. What if there is a way to forget all of those and enter a whole new world and escape reality? James Halliday saw the future, and then he built it. He gave us a place to go, a place called the Oasis. These lines are from the movie Ready Player One. The Oasis is a virtual reality world for escaping reality for whatever it can be and a ground for meeting new friends. Well, you'll also be dreaming of a world like that, so fear not, my friend. That virtual world is very much nearer grasp than anyone can imagine. Metaverse is a new virtual world we're going to enter. Metaverse was there for a long time, but the term has become increasingly popular in recent years as a developing number of organizations embrace its status as the technology of the future economy. While the world is getting more commonly used as internet and online, its definition can still be quite vague. Since the metaverse is being portrayed as the next grandiose thing, it merits understanding what is generally going on with this term. Recently, the metaverse has been a topic of conversation with Facebook and Microsoft both staking claims. What is the metaverse? And when will it get here? It combines various elements of technology that include virtual reality, augmented reality, and video where the users can live within a digital universe. The people who support metaverse foresees its users playing, working, making connections with new users, and staying connected with friends through everything from concerts and conferences to virtual trips around the world. So going on to when we can expect to see it, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta, formerly Facebook, has an estimation that it could take 5 to 10 years before the key features of the metaverse become mainstream. But many elements of metaverse currently do exist, like ultra-fast broadband speeds, virtual reality headsets, and persistent always-on online worlds are already up and running, even though they may not be accessible at all. There are some key pioneers and movers in the metaverse. Even before Mark Zuckerberg renamed Facebook to Meta in 2021, other companies were already up at the front lines of metaverse development. Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, a well-renowned multiplayer shooting game released in 2017, has evolved into a digital events place where users can attend dance parties and virtual music. Microsoft saw the potential in the metaverse early on with its 2014 acquisition of Minecraft, created by Stockholm-based Mojang in 2009. Roblox released its game on PC in 2006, which was released with the same name before becoming available on mobile and Xbox, which hosts around 50 million user-created games. Niantic is a software development company best known for creating the augmented reality mobile game Pokemon Go. The founder and CEO of Niantic, John Hank, strongly believe in bringing people of all races together and closer to the real world than the other way around. Here are 10 metaverse games to immerse yourself into. 1. Axie Infinity in 2018, a Vietnamese startup, Sky Mavis, released Axie Infinity. This game was heavily inspired by Pokemon. It features fantasy creatures called Axies, which people can breed, raise, collect, and trade. Every creature has over 500 body parts you can customize. The offspring of Axies acquire new powers and characteristics, depending on their gene combination. Axis can hunt for treasure or battle against other Axies, so you can earn rewards. You can buy land and homes for your Axies to live in, creating them according to the resources on the platform. The virtual pets and other items in this game have value in the form of non-fungible tokens or digital certificates of ownership governed by blockchain technology. Players can also find scholars or people with whom they can lend three of their axes to earn tokens. 2. Decentraland Argentinian duo Ari Milik and Esteban Ordano opened Decentraland to the public in 2020. Using mana cryptocurrency, you can create unique avatars, buy wearables, and acquire real estate in this virtual space consisting of over 90,000 land parcels. As a landowner, you can rent out lots, each measuring 16 virtual square meters, or whatever is on it – houses, hotels, parks, cinemas, casinos, and what you have. You can also earn income by organizing a concert and selling tickets, setting up an exhibit to auction off digital art, and so on. MetaMask is among the popular digital wallets that players use for this platform. 3. Sandbox Sandbox is a mobile game by Pixel Owl was launched in 2012 by co-founders Arthur Madrid and Sebastian Bourget of France. It's another user-generated platform where users, represented as block-like customizable avatars, become owners of what they create through blockchain and smart contracts. Sandbox has three main products. Fox Edit is a 3D modeling tool to create avatars, vehicles, plants, animals, tools, and other objects. You can export your creations into Sandbox's second product, the marketplace where you can sell your items. The final product is the game maker where users can develop 3D games without using code. The main currency in the sandbox is called sand. You can acquire and trade land and estates, which you can select from the sandbox map. 
there's also an option for you to offer these properties in the OpenSea NFT marketplace. Or Illivium. Illivium is a soon-to-be-released Metaverse game that's causing a lot of buzz in the gaming world, which describes it as a true AAA 3D blockchain game. This game aims to hunt for deity-like creatures called Illuvials on this alien landscape, capture them using shards, or nurse them back to health. These monsters then help you combat with other players and monsters, which number over 100. Illuvials are also tradable NFTs. The more potent and rare there are, the higher their value becomes. You can fuse or merge the Illuvial to a new creature once you have three of the same Illuvial. Doing so increases their value if each of them has reached its highest level through combat. Players unearth their armor and weapons from the Illuvial environment. 5. Chain of Alliance It was first released in 2020, and it's yet another role-playing fantasy game that involves customizable creatures with NFT value. You must field up to 8 characters in your team per round. You should determine the best players and arm them with the best weapons to raise your winning opportunity. 6. My Neighbor Alice My Neighbor Alice is a multiplayer builder game where you can own farmlands and cultivate crops or even islands dwarfed by Alice. The game flow is very similar to Farmville, where you can choose the crops to grow and the livestock to breed and interact with others. You can also choose to run other livelihood options like running an apiary or bee farm and later selling honey. My Neighbor Alice NFTs, which include plants, animals, houses, clothes, decor, etc., are tradable on the Alice Marketplace and other blockchains. 7. Christopia Puzzle and maze lovers will love Christopia. It's an adventure game where you step into the shoes of Captain Nova Dune, a space explorer who heads to the planet Christopia after he detects an enigmatic distress signal from it. Nova and her pet Scree would come in contact with the planet's inhabitants and eventually get into an escape room kind of challenge scenario. 8. Alien Worlds The game was launched in 2020, and Alien World tasks you to mine Trillium, the official in-game currency, from six planets as a space explorer. Each planet has its own elected government and your voting rights depending on how many Trilliums you stake on the planet. You will get a shovel as a starting tool to play, but to get more Trillium and powerful mining tools, it's best to buy your own land or pay a landowner to start excavation. Other ways to earn tokens are battling other players and going on mining missions. 9. Farmer's World It was released in 2021. In Farmer's World, you can buy lands to mine gold, grow crops, breed livestock, catch fish, and build shelters for your farm animals. You can also purchase tools on the Atomic Hub market. Everything you own in your virtual property and the products that come out of it, include milk and eggs, are NFTs. The products you harvest can be sold or traded to other players. Another task in this game is to protect your farm from other intruders and as well as other players who can steal your resources or fight off jungle monsters from your farm premises. 10. Prospectors The creator of this game describes this game as a multiplayer economic strategy game that takes you to the 19th century Wild West. The game's main objective is to acquire gold that you can convert into the official game currency, Prospector's Gold. Now coming to the gaming tokens, there are a lot of gaming tokens. AXS is a game token of Axie Infinity. These are the in-game currency called Axie Infinity Shards. They also brought a staking program to stake AXS and get good returns. Next is a sandbox or sand token, which has the same stake program. And if you own a land, you can get a multiplier for that staking so that you can earn sand tokens on your sandbox and it actually has some pretty high utility. Next up is ILV, which is a token for Olivia. ILV got some massive return in this program, even in its early stage, as it's a soon-to-be-released game. The next pick is a Gala token, which is the ecosystem token for Gala games, and it has been on a pretty big tear and got good returns as well. These are some of the best gaming tokens out there, and like usual, it's been a pleasure to have you.